Okay, gonna give this a shot. Hopefully this recording works. Okay, so over in the command module, what I wanna do is I wanna set up our orientation to point at 140 degrees and zero forward in this case, because the lunar module is in front of us. Okay, we wanna turn on CMC auto mode. And we want to make sure that we're in lunar rate here, because we're on the moon. Okay, let's let that run here. Switch over into this guy. Let's see if we can get our um, rendezvous radar slew up. Okay, six degrees up. And to the left. Okay, now we put it in auto track. This signal should go up, and we should see over here uh, our distance and closure rate, right? So we're getting about 3,000 feet away. Closure rate is really good right now. Uh, we're going to want to speed that up in a minute, but let's get everything lined up first. Okay, so now because we are in front of the command module orbitally, orb in the orbit, um, we are going to want to point prograde. So first let's make sure to cancel any program 20 running with verb 56. And then we want to go verb 49. And see we want to point zero uh, and then we want to point retrograde so 180 180 okay now we can proceed on that I'm going to put this into auto this into mode control so what that's just going to do is point us right in our orbit away uh, so we're kind of pointed towards the command module it'll make the remaining rendezvous a little bit easier now you can see here hopefully that we're way up above the command module so we're going to need to translate down to get that to fix oh and we've lost our tracking here so we'll let ourselves get oriented um, while we fix this guy. Point this guy the right way here. So we're still uh, repositioning here. While this guy's rotating, it's going to be a little harder to point it. Okay, let's get back in here. Finish. Three left. Locked on, auto track. That should, if we have this set to radar and that guy on radar, um, that will show these error bars as kind of where we are in relation to the command module. Right. But I mean, we know we're way above him, so we need we need to use our upward pointing jets to force ourselves to go downward. That would be with the K key. So I'm going to burn K quite a bit here to push us down. And one thing you can do so you can see the effect a little better is like use time scale of like five or 10. And you can see now we're, we're getting back. So I might wanna use our forward jets a little bit to counteract that. Maybe back, don't time scale so much. And you can see this guy's coming up now, right? So now I'm going to go back to just 
normal time. So again, you can see our closure rate right here is pretty good. We can speed that up even a little bit. So I'm going to burn 4, which is towards the command module here. And he's starting to drift up towards our center point here. So I want to burn upwards to counteract that drift as we get closer and closer. And you can see this coming up as well. This is our center line here. We're pretty close. So again, I'm going to burn up. And then I'm going to burn to the left. More up, more up. Okay. So now I'm going to burn four. Increase our closure rate again until we get to within, I don't know, two, three hundred feet here. And again, I have to keep compensating. He's too high now, so I'm going to go up to meet him. So I'm burning a little bit up. And then he'll drift down and I'll have to burn down to counteract that until I get it fairly stable and close to the center. We can zoom in here a little, but we don't want to zoom in too much because then we can't see our our data. He's drifting to the right, so I need to go to the right to match him a little bit. A little more four. Increase our closure rate again. And of course you can also switch into the command module and when you have your VS VHF ranging on here, you can see our range. And how fast this is counting down is also your closure rate. And here in the command module, I can burn aft as well and slow that down as we get closer. All right. The other thing we want to do is you want to put on your COAS here and you want to put up your docking target over here. So now if we go into this window, we can see where we are over here. Right. And I can see him drifting, so I could counteract the drift from here. He's drifting to the left, so I burn to the left to match. Because I don't want him to drift too far over. Right. Let's switch back over here. We're within about 500 feet now. Uh, again, I'm going to burn to the left a little bit and down, because we're a little bit high. It doesn't have to be like dead center or anything, you know, just anywhere within this area right now is all we really care about. I'm going to back off because we're closing at 10 feet a second right now. I want to get that way down here as, as we come in closer. So now we're at about 5 feet per second here. And about here I want that to be pretty close to zero because I'm going to have to pitch over to dock. So, I mean, I've seen this called station holding. And again, we can, we can come over here and see our actual distance here. So I can, I can get this almost zeroed out here. Again, burning F. Okay, see now it's going up. So now I need to burn forward a little bit to get that closer to zero. We're slightly counting down would be my preference. There we go. Nice and slow, right? We're about 140 feet out here. Okay, so now what I need to do over here in this guy is go back to our autopilot, 49. And I want to pitch down because I'm at 180 right now. I want to go down to 270. So verb 22 plus 27000, zero, zero, zero. enter, proceed a bunch, 
until it clears, go back to zero. There. So now we should be pitching down. And if we go over into the command module here, we should be able to see that pitch happening. Now, if you remember uh, over here, I rolled us to 140. That should hopefully line us up with our target. That's this target right up here. And you can also see how it's it's like the whites and the reds don't line up right now. Those need to line up when we're ready to dock. Now the lunar module is still rotating, so it's okay that they don't line up. And now see they line up really, really well. So what I want to do is just bring us over to the lunar module. Switch over here real quick and look at go to our overhead window. And that green target right there is the lunar module target, right? So So again I'm doing little RCS burns to this was drifting down too fast. Now I need to bring it over here to the center. Also, when, when half the distance of this circle is out to this first plus, which is about where it is right now, that means we should be about 58 feet from docking. I just want to let that get fairly stable here. And it's pretty generous. You don't have to like perfectly line up or anything. This should be fine. So, but now we're like station holding, right? So now I want to increase this a little bit so that we're getting closer and closer and closer. I'll go back to our coast here. Just need to keep this close to the center. I usually zoom in, but you don't really have to be dead center accurate on this thing. Again, just little burns to push this over towards the center of that. I'm going to burn four again to increase our closure rate while we're still this far out. And also we can turn this to spot so it stops all that blinking. We can go over here and we can say turn this to dock. And let's go back to our overhead window view here and go back into the So now it's proceeding through all of these checks. I think I think it was waiting for me to turn that light on to dock. Um, so you might be aware of that. Okay, so now we're dialed in pretty well here. Just little tiny RCS burns to keep us in this square. And you can see here we're a little bit high, but I'm not going to worry about it at this point. We should be able to dock. If not, we'll back off, readjust, and come in. We're closing a little fast. So as this... As again, half the width of these white dots gets out to our second plus here. We'll be at about 21 feet from docking. We can start to slow in that closure rate right down a little bit. There we are. So we've crossed that 21 feet now. As it gets to the third plus, it's going to be just 8 feet from docking. That's just an approximation. There we are at eight feet. 
And we get to about two feet when it crosses, when this plus gets to that plus and we're centered. We're not centered right now, but there we go. There we go, and docked. It always goes kind of wonky when it docks. It puts it off center. And if we look, uh, oh, one thing we want to do here uh, is turn off, ugh, turn off auto here now, as soon as you can. Because otherwise the RCS controls are fighting each other. And there we go. Oh, and I wanted to go into the over overhead window here. And this is what this would look like if you're docking from the lunar module back to the command module. The T points off to the right here. At least from this view. I mean, you can always rotate your view. But... So a lot of RCS controlling to get him to dock.